Today I will show you how to disable the pin on your Android phone and you should only do this if you have an old phone and you don't want to have to use the fingerprint or the pin all the time if you want to be able to unlock it. If you have an old phone that doesn't have a fingerprint reader or it's difficult to use the fingerprint, you can always disable the unlock code or the password of the phone and like that you can unlock, you can open the phone without having to type any code or having any fingerprint unlock codes and I'll show you now how to do it. First I will show you without actually doing it on my new phone because I don't want to disable this and you have to be really think a lot about it if you really want to do this because if you lose your phone someone might be able to get access to your phone to your pictures so you have to think if you really need this. To disable the pin code on your phone you go into the settings and in the settings, security, here under security, you have the device security option, screen lock, and I have it set to pin. And to change anything here, you have to re-enter your pin. So you need to know the pin of your phone. This has to be done on your own phone. I enter the pin, you should only do this on your own phone or a phone of a friend, someone asking you to do this. And you have to tell them, if they're asking you, you have to tell them that it's really not safe to have the phone like this. Now the current screen lock of my phone is PIN. This is, says the current screen lock, but I could have a password, something more complicated. I could have a PIN pattern, which is like swiping on the screen like that. And swipe, actually I never use the swipe, so I'm not sure how the swipe would work. I guess you swipe in some specific way. That's more interesting, that's more safe, I guess. And none. None is to disable it. So if I wanted to disable it, I would put it to none here. But I will not disable it on my phone. On my new phone. I will try to disable it on the old phone. I will actually show you how I do it on my old phone. And you can even use a separate Google account for this. So the phones are not linked together. And to do that, go into the settings. This is my Xiaomi Mi 9. And here I go into the password and security under the password and security setting here you have even option for face sound lock wow okay screen lock phone or password depending on what you have after you enter your password you have the option to choose a pin that's the current screen lock you can use a pattern a print pin pattern or you can use a password or you can even turn it off completely that's here the option to turn it off for example first you have to remember it if you change it, you have to remember it, but I won't do it now. And I can turn off the screen lock. After you turn off your screen lock, passwords, recorded fingerprints and face data will be deleted. You won't be able to unlock the device using your face or fingerprints. So it will actually disable the fingerprint unlock too. Because anyway, what's the point to unlock it with the fingerprint if you can unlock it with any, just a swipe. So now it's off. And to show you that it's really off, I turn the phone on and I swipe up, it opens without having to put the fingerprint there. And that's how it works. It's very, very easy, but also it's easier for someone, if you lost your phone, it's easier for someone to see your pictures, maybe download some files or use the apps from your phone like you. I believe it's better to have a password, use the fingerprint or the face unlock. It's much safer like this. I show you how you can easily remove the screen lock from your phone so that the phone doesn't need anything a pin pattern or password or face id face unlock or fingerprint thanks for watching